Hey, what is going on? It's Josh. I recently did a poll for what my next Patreon album would be, and I had Our Mirage, Slaughter to Prevail, I Prevail, and they just realized I had two Prevail bands, Papa Roach, and Sleep Token's first album, Sundowning. And I actually just threw that on at the end as an afterthought. 1.5 thousand votes and 52% have voted for Sleep Token Sundowning. So you cannot ignore that. That's over 750 people voting for Sundowning. So that's what I'm doing here today. So welcome to my second Patreon exclusive album review. This one is Sleep Tokens Sundowning. So this is an album that came out in 2019. They had two EPs that came out before this, which were named one and two. Uh, that came out in 2016 and 2017. Looks like they then took two years to write and record the album Sundowning. And these guys are from London and I didn't know that. Anonymous band, all members are anonymous, the vocalist is known as Vessel. But let's kick it off, this is track one of Sundowning, this is The Night Does Not Belong to God, let's go. Interesting upbeat kind of start, very interesting introduction to the band. As always, fantastic, fantastic synth work from the start. Not afraid to let the track breathe. Very hopeful beginning. Wow, first, first taste of Vessel's voice. Vocal layering's incredible. I love that. That synth is so uniquely sleep token. Just a taste, just the drums, not full metal. I like how they've done this whole track. Still very bright, very bright sounding. I love that there was the emphasis on Vessel's voice immediately. This reminds me of that, um, what's that famous song? It's all vocals. Where were we? Whatever. this range oh. I love how it went just to the vocals then the piano slowly came back in and then they built it back up to this big ending
so much layering. I feel like they've, um, in the later stuff, backed away from that. That might have just been something they did for this track as an introduction and something unique and cool. But they've definitely, um, as his voice has gotten better and better and they've been able to produce it better, um, I think they kind of bring it to one true voice now where they're like really focusing on on the voice rather than doing so much production and you know layering and effects on his voice i think now there's more power in just having his voice so warm and powerful on its own <laughs> 